Hello and welcome. My name is Martin Kratke. I'm one of the founders of Victarius. In this video, I want to give you a short preview of some of the great things coming in Victarius version 21.1. A big shout out to all the attenders of the upcoming Power BI Summit in April, where we are very proud to be a gold partner in supporting this fantastic event. One of the completely new features that I want to quickly show you is our new Victarius Power BI Sync application that will also be available as a cloud-based service. Actaris Power BI Sync allows you to plan, enable, or write enable any Power BI model. This could be typical data storage solutions like analysis service, web sources, but of course also more advanced ERP systems like SAP in all its flavors and Dynamics 365 uh, FO that I want to use for this example. So you just point to the dynamic source or you have it already integrated into existing Power BI reports. To plan enable this data set is then very easy. You just go to external tools, choose the new Power BI Sync application. Uh, you need to configure the details of the Power BI data set or data flows data set, respectively the target database, which is Azure SQL Server or SQL Server. That's also where all the Actaris data is stored. You can then choose either the, the service or the Power BI desktop, point to the file that you want to use, load the tables, select the model components that you want to use. For example, all general ledger actuals. Now we see the structure here. And then you just with a button, you can export this data to the SQL Server and also create the Actaris dimension. If you want to, you can also completely automate this process. So you just point to the file and then just set the frequency, for example, on an hourly basis, daily basis. You choose the tables that you want to update and then this whole process will update all the data in the planning model automatically with the Power BI data set. This could also be used just to synchronize your Power BI data with all the benefits of Power Query to an existing data warehouse. Now that we finish the configuration, we can continue on the Power BI service. So we can now add the new planning table directly to our existing Power BI reports. For example, just dragging and dropping the new plan field into a visual. In this case, it's the Hectares variance visual that enables you to compare actuals against the target in a small multiples fashion, including things like custom tooltips, where you can immediately see the details of what's driving these variances. And you also have the option to drill down. So for example, if we want to do a check what's going on in the sales expense accounts, we can drill down to that detail. And then we can use immediately the new planning capabilities. So I can now uh, change my budget here. You can see by dragging and dropping, enter my new assumption, press save, and this will be immediately saved. So you can see the power of the Actaris engine that allows you to plan across thousands of cells with hundreds of users in a matter of seconds. So now we see immediately the adjusted results. And that of course also flow through on all the other reports. We can also use more traditional methods. Here the user has now extensive planning functionality. So from relative increases, repeating entries, filling data to a variety of other options. And I can now directly enter my data either on the detail level, for example, if I want to increase this to 26 million. And I can again instantly see what the effects are or on the total level. So if I want to now simulate a 10% increase here, I just type in increase 10% and I can immediately see what uh, this would imply. All the KPIs will automatically adjust and of course, and of course also all the underlying uh, detail accounts. So within a matter of, within a matter of seconds, the Actaris engine has processed thousands of adjustments and data points. We also have the option to add comments with rich text formatting. That will be stored to this particular data point. 
You want to simulate a new scenario, no problem. Just go to the Keras table edit visual. Here you can now select the tables that you want to edit. So in our case, we want to edit the dynamic scenarios. We can just click here and create the new scenario that we can then use in the same way uh, as you saw before for planning purposes. To start quicker, we can automatically populate this scenario with existing data. Just select the required model, set the dimension details. For example, I want to copy from my actuals to the new forecast scenario. I can further limit this to other details, for example, by date, again, on any level of detail. For example, let's take the financial year from 2018 to 2019. And immediately I will have that data in the model and I can do then my planning in with, with all the options that I've just shown you. Now you want to present your results as a financial statement with Excel-like flexibility to add formats and calculation? No problem. The brand new Ectaris reporting visual allows you exactly this. So here we see in our report, we see the updated budget data and Ectaris reporting gives you now the option to format the report and add calculation exactly as needed, plus also the typical Power BI feature. So if you move to a particular value, you get a breakdown with a custom tooltip and you cannot easily configure this report with Excel flexibility. So if we go to the edit mode here, we can see now we have already configured a few lines. So we have, we have this new calculation here for the gross profit, which is this line here that calculates revenue plus sales minus selling expenses. And we can now format this in exactly the way we want to. So for example, if you want to add an overline here, you can just click on overline and now we have added this formatting option and every calculation that's using this format will be automatically formatted this way. Equally, we can add new calculations, for, for example, the relative gross profit share. And the only thing you have to do is click on the particular items and set up your calculation. We see we need a different format here. Again, we can immediately do this here and have now the right format automatically applied in the report. The same works equally for columns. So if you want to have your own column calculations, you can even use if statements. If the budget is greater than zero, then calculate the absolute variance divided by the budget, otherwise zero, and it will perfectly create your calculations here. All this with the other features that we discussed, sort of the comments uh, will automatically show here. You've got drill through options and much, much more coming. This is really just the first version. For further details, or to start your own trial, which really only takes a few minutes, go to our website at caris.com. For additional details about the upcoming version, please follow us on LinkedIn. And if you want to see us um, at the Power BI Summit, please visit our booth. Thank you very much.